From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your evening update. The remnant circulation of what was once powerful Hurricane Helene, now a tropical depression, has made its way up into the Ohio Valley on this Friday afternoon. But in association with the upper low interacting with it, rain is rotating back into our area on this Friday evening after some earlier rain that we had across the area today. No impactful weather other than rain out there and a few gusty winds through the evening. That could occasionally be 25, 30, maybe even an isolated 40 mile per hour wind gust, but not expecting any dangerous or damaging weather as we head through here. Overall, we are lucky in our part of the Tennessee Valley, Southern Middle Tennessee, Northwest Alabama, that Helene tracked well off to our east as it was expected to do. High today at Lawrenceburg Airport was only 66 degrees after a morning low of 64. So temperatures haven't moved too much at all today because of the clouds and the rain around. Just over half an inch of rain officially measured at the Lawrenceburg Airport. Some areas of Southern Middle Tennessee have certainly gotten more than that, however. Northwest Alabama just starting to get back into the steadier rain. So as of 430 this afternoon, when the Almanac data was officially captured for the day, Muscle Shoals Airport was just shy of a quarter of an inch of rain, but more steady rain for the evening is starting to approach. 69 degrees was the official high there after morning low of 66. And temperatures tomorrow may be similar with clouds and rain around. Steady rain moving into the area this evening, along with breezy conditions. So keep in mind, there could still be isolated 30 to 40 mile per hour wind gust through the evening and into the overnight, but those will settle down later into the overnight. Steady rain this evening, tapering off in the showers after midnight. Those showers will continue in through Saturday morning. Temperatures not moving a whole lot tonight either, staying in the lower 60s. And then Futurecast, I think, is kind of overdoing it a little bit here in southern middle Tennessee. I don't think temperatures stay this cool into the lower 60s all day. I expect it to be mid to upper 60s. But if you don't see any sunshine, tomorrow i do think you're going to stay shy of 70. however especially down here at tennessee river and south in north alabama where you may see a little bit of occasional sun from the late morning into the afternoon you may be closer to the lower 70s often on rain showers possible for a saturday and saturday night just not an all-day steady rain by any means upper low just sits and spins here for the next few days so a few showers possible sunday a few lingering showers possible Monday, and then a weak frontal system from the west finally kicks the upper low out of here as we head into Tuesday. This front not bringing cooler air, but it's bringing drier air and a return to sunshine. We'll actually be in the lower 80s after that front passes and it brings drier air, even though it will lower the overnight temperatures a little bit. That's because the air is drier and we're able to cool more efficiently during the overnight because of that. Before then, though, with the clouds and rain around, staying in the 60s tomorrow and into the low to mid 70s as we had Sunday into Monday here. We're watching the tropics. Yes, we just got Helene out of the Gulf of Mexico and onto land and weakening into a remnant low. While Helene was happening, we had Hurricane Isaac on the board in the North Atlantic that is moving northeastward away from the United States. We also have Joyce on the board out here that will recurve in the open Atlantic, not a threat to the United States. We have a tropical wave moving westward through the Caribbean that we're starting to pay attention to that we'll watch late in the weekend and especially next week as it gets into the Northwest Caribbean and the Southern Gulf of Mexico National Hurricane Center, giving a low chance the next seven days of this developing, but computer models are starting to hint that this may be where our next system develops, either in the Northwest Caribbean or the Southern Gulf next week. A lot of questions with where it may track, even if it develops at all, and way too far out to guess intensity. So I know that there's a lot of attention right now on the tropics because of what's happened with Helene. Don't let the impacts from Helene and all the flooding and the wind damage happening with Helene scare you and make you panic about the idea that there's another one on the board. It's not a guarantee that this will develop. And even if it does, it, there's not a guarantee by any means that this will be a major system. We'll just have to watch it as we go through the next seven days, as we do with any system during the Atlantic hurricane season, which runs all the way through the end of November. Clouds around tonight, steady rain this evening, this evening tapering off into showers deeper into the overnight. 
staying in the 60s for overnight lows, and then off and on showers, spotty at times for our Saturday, daytime highs in the mid to upper 60s, finally getting back into the 70s for Sunday and the Monday, but scattered showers linger. And then we kick the rain chances out of here starting Tuesday as we get back into the lower 80s for the remainder of the week. There's your latest seven-day forecast. I'll be back at 9 o'clock for a final check of your local weather.